Hello everybody, in Review iPad 2.0, we've released some exciting and highly requested features to let you do measurements out at the job site. To use these new tools, you can go ahead and select the measurement ruler icon at the top right. It's going to open the markups toolbar and take you right to them. If you already had this toolbar open, you could have just scrolled down to them as well. Now, unless your drawing already has a safe scale embedded into its pages, you're going to need to calibrate first, but don't worry, it's very painless. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom into this region where there's a known dimension that I want to use. When I select the calibration tool, it's going to give me some instructions. Essentially what it's telling me is that I can either tap two places or tap and drag. I like to tap. All right, this is close to it, but not where I would exactly want it to be. I can select these endpoints and use the crosshairs and the magnifier to get it exactly where I want. Now that I like it, I'm going to go ahead and press the green check mark. I can clear this value, enter that 6 feet and 8 inches that I'm using. Alright, now I'm ready to go. So, say I'm working with this drawing and on this floor I want a quick recount of the number of fixtures that are here. I select the count tool and just tap away. When I'm done, I just have to deselect it. Over here in this classroom, let's say I want to verify the wall length. Select the length tool. I can just tap and drag it across. You'll see that that magnifier is here to help me along the way. As well as when I move my finger up and down, it's still staying straight. All right, perfect. Now, let's go back over here and we'll see this lounge. Say you want to make sure that you have enough trim to work on it for the day. You can take our perimeter tool and just click on the edges of the room. Alright, this is a little bit off so I can go ahead and take some of these control points and bring them to where they need to be. That looks a little better. Also, back over in the classroom, room 106, I have the carpet guy who wants to make sure that one roll of carpet is going to do enough. So if I go ahead and click the area tool, can draw out this rectangle, and I get that square foot value. Now it's a little hard to see, so I can go ahead and open the properties and change this to look better. Can select a fill, change that border and text, and just make sure this is easy to read so that when I share it with others, they can see this measurement I've just spent time taking. Great. Now let's go over here and I want to show you next on how to do a volume. So I'm going to open the tab access and you'll see that there is a new tab with the same measurement ruler icon. It shows my scale, precision, depth, and as well as these options here to store the scale on the page, to snap orthogonal, which I used when I was doing the length tool, and make annotations so that if I want to just verify something without placing the annotation, I can just take that off. Now up here are those same measurement tools that you can use. So you actually have two places where you can use them, whatever's best for you. I'm going to go ahead and select the volume. Now that depth field is active. If I want to do a quick uh, drag and drop to see if I have enough bags of concrete for the foundation, I can just quickly change this depth to something a little more reasonable, and then select the volume tool and drag away. Now something else I want to mention with these tools is that if you go ahead and open the markups list, everything is being stored and tracked here. If I pan to the right, you'll see all my columns. But I don't really see anything right here for measurements, so I can open this blue gear. And review comes with all of these ready to go. So I'm going to look at the length, area, and count. Now they're displayed with the corresponding values and populating automatically. My custom columns, one I've made as responsibility, still works just as I would want it to with all my other markups. 
if your custom column had formulas in it, that's supported as well. So that is Field Measurements on Review iPad. Hope it helps you guys out at the job site and have at it.